I've seen a lot of these from early Anglo-Saxon graves. The early Anglo-Saxons are quite fond of getting Roman coins, piercing them, and worried of as pendants. Oh, I'm not saying it is early Saxon graves, it's happened at any time, but it's... Uh... No, but it is, a, it is an interesting link that when you see a pierced Roman coin, the first thing that kind of lodges in your mind is, ah, might be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, here is something you would want to have to yeah. Oh, nice. yeah, excellent. Apart from the Roman, that's the earliest bit of pottery I've seen from this site, more or less. That's what they call Nottingham Splash Glaze were. When you say early, it's basically it's early to mid 12th century. Mm. Ooh, that would be a lovely period. Yeah, I mean, that's gone by the end of the 12th century, this stuff. It is just so nice to get something which was here when the site began. <laughs> yeah, well, that must have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we've now got pottery from the time of King John, but surely we must be able to identify at least one of the buildings we know made up his royal complex. With time running out, Phil's new trend is now showing evidence of a proper structure. Phil, hey, we've got the um, foundation trench edges here. Really nice and straight. Where, where is the edge? There, look. 